talking. I'm talking. Today, what I'm going to do is explain a little bit about using all five fingers or the thumb and these four fingers to play finger style. Now, the way I got into doing this was because uh, as a kid, I, st I started learning guitar using a thumb and three fingers, learning classical guitar. But then what happened was, uh, as I got older, I, I started playing electric guitar and then uh, everybody else was using a pick. So, so I, I kind of, you know, I got into using the pick. And, uh, and all that stuff. So, so I'm very comfortable with a pick. But once I started using the pick, sometimes I kind of missed uh, having the other fingers available. And, um, you know, I, I wasn't used to having these two fingers uh, stuck together and then, you know, not using the other two fingers. Incidentally, I'm, I have a Band-Aid on this finger. This time of year, I start to get cracked fingers. So just in case you notice the, uh, the difference in sound. What happened was, you know, I started playing I wanted to use some extra fingers, so I, I had, then I had a thumb and two fingers. Right, so, so that was just a natural thing because, uh, you know, once I got used to having these two fingers together, I could use these other two fingers just as if I was playing classical guitar. But then I kind of missed having that extra finger when, when I was playing um, when I was playing using the pick that way. So I started trying to use this little pinky. It was a little awkward at first, but it actually gives you uh, more ability to play fuller chords when you want to. Right? So that gives you four notes, but then I got to thinking, well, what if I don't use a pick and I use the thumb? Then I can also use that little pinky. That will allow me to play five notes at once, which is, um, you know, which is kind of cool because that means that I could, uh, I could play a chord like that as a block chord, which is, it's a little bit different from going because, you know, even though you kind of strum fast it's just a little bit different because you hear that you hear that uh, strumming across the strings so right so so that's kind of a nice thing when you need it you don't always of course need to have five notes but when you do need it it's it's very useful if you have the ability to use uh, the little pinky finger. So if you already know a little bit of finger style, whether it's with uh, you know a thumb and uh, perhaps a couple of fingers, you can actually do quite a lot with the thumb and two fingers. So that's just two fingers and um, a lot of times you see people using the pinky resting on the top of the guitar um, well if you're going to use all of the fingers then you're going to have to stop that <laughs> so if you haven't done this before let's go through a little exercise first of all i'm going to use a thumb and two fingers so the chords i'm playing are bass are very simple chords it's a C chord and it's a, it's a G chord, which is actually an inversion of this one. So I'm just playing the, uh, the, the B instead of the G for that, for that note. So it's... Right? So, so the fingers I'm playing, I'm playing the thumb on the fifth string. And I'm playing, I'm using these two fingers to play strings three and strings two. So it's going like this. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So that's the thumb and two fingers. Now, if you want to play a thumb and three fingers, what we can do is we'll add, we'll add the first string. So I'm going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, 
So now thumb and four fingers, it's actually a little bit different from if you're strumming. You could strum and go. Right? But there's actually a subtle difference between the sounds. If I play. You can hear the difference, I'm sure. And, uh, and it will also allow you to do other things once you've got that capability. It's actually a little bit difficult today because of, because of this band-aid on my finger, but... So that's playing a thumb and four fingers. I hope you found that useful. If you like this, hit the like button and uh, subscribe if you want to hear some more from me. And as always, I like to say, stay tuned and I look forward to seeing you soon.